Вы как-то упоминали проблему смешения рас. You once mentioned the issue with blood mixing. Is it true that racial mixing brings about a degeneration of the bloodline a few generations after? There is a common belief that racial mixing, on the contrary, strengthens the quality of the bloodline. If my children's paternal great-grandfather was of Asian descent, could this be neutralized in some way? Is it safe to mix with different nationalities of the same race, for example, Europeans? Look, don't confuse the effects. When the mixing of blood occurs, it has a beneficial effect on biology. It increases vitality, increases animalistic nature. Because when we produce progeny of the same tribe and the same blood, our genetics become weaker. It is precisely the effect of when your mom and dad's cells, your mom and dad's biology, don't need to struggle for dominance. Whereas development always takes place based on a conflict. When mom and dad are practically from the same family, why should their genes fight one another? They compare their genes and say, well, all in all, we're family, why should we fight with relatives? And so such conflict doesn't arise. When there is no conflict, the the soul is born very weak. It doesn't know what conflict is and therefore turns out to be completely unadapted to life. This is how dynasties degenerate. That is why it was customary to introduce a new bloodline to a dynasty once in a few generations. A new bloodline awakens biological passionality but always at the expense of something else namely at the expense of the bloodline memory. That is why such bloodlines usually lose their bloodline memory for three generations. Here we have a so-called double-edged sword. We awaken our nature and biological vitality but lose certain magical and possibly caste-based functionality. It takes a while for a bloodline to become stable, to mix with other, more noble lines until the memory awakens again. Here is such a double-edged sword, either die out or preserve a memory. And if we look at all European dynasties, we will see that it is just what happened to them. Those who preserved the memory degenerated biologically. Those who considered it necessary and mixed their blood with other lines, other branches, lost their rights but survived. As for the question of introducing another race, here it is clear that the race that is stronger will be dominant. And I want to tell you that the Asian race is stronger. Europeans mated with each other for too long, whereas Asian people never had those problems. Slavs have it easier in this regard, because the same Mongols and Tatars that were running back and forth all over Rus, they did leave drops of their blood in Slavs. So it's easier for the Slavs, since we have such a blend, such a mixture of different bloods that we generally can say that we are doing good in terms of our biological vitality, but not so good in terms of our memory. We've only just begun to somehow restore the bloodline memory since our traditions just began to recover, namely the tradition of preserving blood's integrity, at least according to the main key points the major key points. So here, you can't really neutralize the effects. Just keep in mind that your bloodline memory was put on a hold, if all goes naturally. But you can call on the spirits of the kin, call on the guardians, and ask them to support the awakening of your bloodline power, the awakening of the bloodline memory. If not for one of the descendants, then for another, to somehow allocate an ancestral gift among all relatives. Explain somehow to your ancestors the nature of our epoch, where their algorithm no longer works and should be corrected at the core. This algorithm of waiting until the bloodline memory awakens within the generation. Come on, it takes time. It takes a long time. We're now living at such a speed of life that we cannot wait any longer. Bring offerings to the ancestors, perform rites, go to your ancestral lands, interact with the spirit of the place, convince him somehow to change the algorithm. Maybe it will work. Maybe it will work out. It should work now since we even have the ancestors themselves understanding that the algorithms need a correction. They do need it, otherwise we just won't survive.
We simply won't survive. We cannot live without memory, without magic, especially now during the shifting of epochs. We are already doing quite well with this, but with our ancestors' support, it will be even better.